Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be setting up my flipper. I got a flipper zero for Christmas, and I'm finally going to get around to setting this up, installing it, and all that good stuff. So I have my machine ready back there that we're going to be installing it on. I want to just walk you through downloading the application that we need, installing the firmware, updating the firmware, and getting this bad boy off the ground. And then in future videos, I'll show you guys how to install Unleashed, and you know, unleash the capabilities of this device. Little Tamagotchi, you know, dolphin. So I have a silicone cover. I got that with it. I got uh, some screen protectors. I'm probably gonna do this off camera. And here goes this bad boy right here. So this is it, the flipper. So we're gonna be updating this. You can see here we have a little, we have a little uh, sticker. Doesn't fall. Get it. So, and we have a uh, USB cable that comes with it. Okay. So let's take that out. And here goes the beauty. Got it right there. So, what I'm going to do is take this out. Take this out now. And just can't even get this thing out. My fingers are too big. But, um, so here it is. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna jump on my desktop and we're gonna walk through setting this up. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, so now we're on my desktop, okay? So we have this little guy, we powered him up. Just pretty much press this little arrow, the little arrow that you see. And it comes on and then you can just go next next with a little arrow the right arrow so what it says pretty much we have to do is install first we have to download the application once we download the application we can plug in the uh, flipper all right so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead we can download it you just hit download install once you install it you have this little flipper two flipper application we can double click on this as you see here, it says connect your flipper. Let's go ahead and do that. I haven't connected any, uh, I haven't put my, my SD card or anything. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this and plug it in, right? So let's go ahead and give this a go. I'm gonna plug in this right here. And now I'm just gonna go over here and plug it into the laptop. And one second. Okay. And as you see on my screen, it says to update SD card not, not present because we haven't updated that yet. So we can try to update it now. Let's go ahead and hit update. Boom. I did this on purpose. So it says please install an SD card before installing the firmware. So we can hit OK. And now what we're going to do is remove it. We have to, un <clears throat> excuse me, we have to unplug it. And then we'll install my SD card and then replug it in. <clears throat> I wanted to make that mistake on purpose because if you guys do the same thing, you're like, oh, what happened? So I just wanted to do that on purpose. All right, so now we can go ahead and install this guy. And you can see the SD card here, and it says exactly how to put it in. Let's go ahead and put it in. Now it clicked, All right? So now let's go ahead and plug it in again. All right, so now we plugged it in. Now it says 99% free. Now let's give it a go. Okay, so let's give this an update. Let's go ahead and update it. And we'll give this a few moments and make sure it's updated and good to go. This is just a quick guide on how to set this up, how to get it up and running, how to get it configured and all that stuff. So future videos will get different applications installed and all that stuff. But while this is updating, there's a cool, uh, I'll throw it in the description below. But uh, over here, we have the awesome flipper. There's some cool, cool things here that you can do. Let's uh, zoom this in a little bit. I don't want to make it too big. So there's databases and dumps. We have flipper zero goodies. We have uh, flipper, like the IR dumps. 
and you know, a whole bunch of good stuff. So what I want to probably do is I want to probably do the IRDB. So with this, you can like, you know, change different, different uh, channels on your remotes. Like I'll mess around with some friends and family, go to a house and just turn off their TV, watch them go crazy. It'll be funny. So yeah, let's go ahead and make it a little smaller now. Okay, so this is gonna be the, the files that we're gonna be downloading. I wanna, I wanna actually install it right now. But you know, for future videos, if you wanna do Unleashed and all that stuff, you know, follow me, subscribe and all that stuff and hit the bell so you're alerted, all right? So let's go ahead and go back and see if this is updated. So it's still updating. We'll give this a uh, few moments. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, to be honest. This is my first flipper and I'm just installing with you guys right now. So we'll give this a moment, all right? So let's just go ahead and minimize this. All right, perfect. We just got it done, right? So now it's finished. Now we can go ahead and hit continue. All right, let's see if we can make this a little larger. No? All right, so now we have the databases are installed. We have 99% free on our card because brand new card. All right, so there's no updates. Right, so now what we can do is we can make this bigger and we can go ahead and hit go down. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's go back. And now what we're gonna do is just go to the, see if we have this file here. We have an SD card, right? So there's multiple ways to do this. So from what I was reading online, we can actually take the SD card out, put it into your computer and dump the file, right? I don't really, my laptop, I don't have a little micro SB, SD uh, reader. So we're gonna have to do this the old school way, right? So we have internal flash. Obviously we're not gonna stick anything on internal flash because that's tiny, right? So we have SD card, and then we have a whole bunch of uh, folders in here that we just updated, right? So we have infrared here. So in infrared, we don't have anything at the moment, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this over. Let's go to infrared here, right? So what we're gonna do is code. You guys are familiar with GitHub. We can just download the zip file. Once we download the zip file, we can unzip the files and then throw that into infrared and then we should be golden, all right? So let's go ahead and open this folder. All right, we'll give this a moment to open. Opened it. Go to downloads right here. So let's just throw this on the desktop. All right. Come on, it's not that big. All right. Cool deal. All right. So let's go ahead and just unzip this. Extract all. It's fine. We can throw it right on our desktop. All right. So we'll give this a moment. It's it's not that big, so it shouldn't take too long. Like 60 gig, uh, 60 megs. So we'll let that do its thing. And then once this is done, let's go back to our Chrome. X out of here. And what we can do here is a whole bunch of cool things, right? So we can go, to, for example, to TV, TVs, right? So in TVs, we have Amazon, all these different kinds of TVs that we can uh, control. So like my house, I have a, I have. I don't even know it. Um, think of Fios. Let's see, I think I, I don't even know what kind of TV I have. I think I have a Sony. Sony, yeah, yeah, I have a Sony. And these are all the remotes, right? So these are all the uh, all the files, obviously. And yeah, so this was updated three days uh, three days ago or a month ago. But yeah, so you can actually you know tinker with this. Obviously, play around with it as much as you can, and if we come back to just the root, right? We'll actually go back here. And you can see like, obviously there's a you know, whole bunch of cool resources. And if you come all the way down here, this is what we'll probably do next, is do the firmware tweaks. So if we do unleash, oops, let to do that. All right, just come on, get away. 
right, so we can see here, but we're gonna do this the next video. And yeah, we're gonna unleash this baby to its full potential. You know, if you wanna go ahead and open your friend's garage and stuff like that, you go ahead and do that. So we'll give this a few more moments. And like I said, it's not gonna be that long of a video. It's gonna be an intro, getting this bad boy up and running, started. And I'm super excited. You know, it's the, 20, the new year. I wanna have some fun. I really have to thank my girlfriend. She got me this flipper. Thank you. And uh, it's gonna be a fun, gonna be a fun time. And uh, I guess while this is, this is uh, downloading, I can open up this silicone guy. And I want to get the Wi-Fi board. I have to go ahead and find. Okay, I guess we'll do that later. All right, so now we have, let's go ahead and just make it smaller. And we can double click in here. So we, now we have every single thing that we need. So let's just go to like, I think it's VCR. It's fine, let's just go to whiteboards all the way up to like ACs, right click, drag this into here, boom, upload. And this is probably gonna take some time. So this is what I mean, like you can do this in your computer, it's probably gonna be a lot faster. Obviously this is gonna take some time. I think it's like, what is say 60 megs. But now we can get back to taking this out. All right, so let me uh, go ahead and take this out. and. Let's take this little, no, little rubber piece, all right? So, and the, the SD card I have is SanDisk. I got a 128 gigs because it was really, really cheap. So I want to let this do its thing. I want to put that over there. And this is pretty much how you do it. Now you just move this, unless you have a computer that has a mini SD card, you can remove it from the flipper, plug it in, and then transfer the files, and then take the, the SD card out of your computer, plug it into the, the flipper, and you should be golden, right? So this is pretty much a starter, right? This is just how you get the flipper up and running. Hopefully you guys find this informative. If there's any questions, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much for viewing. Please subscribe, share, hit the comments, the bells and whistles, and the algorithm of YouTube. Thank you so much and happy 2023 folks.